This is the story of a girl who cried a river and drowned the whole world. What's up, sons? It's Blind Rod with Son of Attack once again, and today I have good news. There is a release from NB Minor, which is on version 39, and it unlocks the light hash rate cards from NVIDIA for up to 70% of their current Ethereum hash power, or what it would be without the light hash rate applied. This is a big deal and should help you get up and running on things like the 3080 Ti, 3070 Ti, any of the latest light hash rate models that are coming out in the 3080s and so on, as well as, of course, the 3060, which is the card that we tested in particular here because I wanted to test it against other possible options as well. We'll get into it right after a word from our sponsor. Today's sponsor is myself. To support the channel, click the join button below the video and you will get access to our privately hosted Rocket Chat. Selecting the $1.99 option will get you access and after that you need to head over to the membership tab, scroll down, and expand out your membership perks. Find the section for connecting on social media and in that section there will be a secret registration URL to join Rocket Chat where you can sign up to enjoy talking with other cryptocurrency enthusiasts and miners without spammers, scammers, or bots. Welcome back. So starting things off, if you guys haven't seen, all you really need to do is check out in the description the link for NB Miner 39. Make sure you get it from the GitHub. There is a Linux version as well as a Windows version and a simple mining version. Basically, you just need to update your simple miner uh, OS to get the latest version and I'm sure Hive OS will be coming here shortly as well. We tested on Windows because that's what my test bench is set up on and it just makes it easy for you guys to follow along and that sort of thing. Now of course we do have to talk about the elephant in the room which is the RTX 3060 which has multiple different options. There was the developer driver that we talked about previously in this video over here and that was 470.05 and if you can still get your hands on that which we do have some links for you guys over in the rocket chat and if you can get your hands on that the RTX 3060, which was kind of the first light hash rate card, a little pre, will get up to a total of like 49 mega hash, almost 50 mega hash a second. And the reason I wanted to basically test this particular card with this miner with the light hash rate applied or whatever is to get a better idea of how close that 70% is actually to, of course, the full mining potential. And so that's why we went with that off the bat. Now, so we know that 100% of the RTX 3060 was about 50 mega hash a second. Once we click over without anything applied for light hash rate or anything, we are looking at 21.97 mega hash a second. So nerfed pretty hard. If we go ahead and get into modifying the card itself and getting the NB miner loaded, here's what you need to do. So what I'm gonna show you guys is the batch file. So this would be the batch file for ET hash. You would put your address in here, watch one of my how to mine guides for that. And then you just need to add a switch. The switch is gonna be dash LHR space and you could click it on with a zero but I couldn't get that working so I just put in the default value of 68 that's going to be 68 percent so it's actually not 70 percent 68 percent and that is what's guaranteed to function now this number can be modified you can go all the way up to 100 percent but at a certain point it hits the lock and it starts going down in my particular experience, we can go all the way up to 70% before it starts locking us down. So anything above 70% and it will continue to lock us down. So right off the bat though, if we're taking a look at stock without any overclocks, we are going to have a hash rate of, let me pull it up real quick. We will have a hash rate of 26.57 mega hash a second, which is about a five mega hash a second boost over the stock, of course. And then let's go ahead and take a look at the 
70% or let's go ahead and take a look at the no overclock or the overclock sorry excuse me so if we go ahead and overclock it to that plus third or plus 900 megahertz and we settle in there we have a total mega hash of 31.42 mega hash a second now finally if you do get the luck of being able to push to 70 percent like i did at that point you would have 32.83 mega hash a second on the rtx 3080 and then or 3060 excuse me and then of course for your mileage it may vary you may be stuck at the 68 percent but that's the guaranteed you'll be around 31 mega hash a second on the 3060 or you could go higher now i do have an rtx 3080 ti coming in here shortly and we will test on that as well but as it stands you are still better off on the RTX 3060 trying to track down that 470.05 developer driver or even the Hive OS unlock that we talked about previously with the RTX 3060 which unlocks 75 percent of the mining potential and that one actually comes out to about 40 mega hash a second so 8 mega hash a second better than what is currently uh, allowed or uh, the ability is on NB minor. The key to NB minor, of course, is not that it unlocks the 3060 as much as it unlocks all the other cards that don't have support with these other options. So we're talking about the 3080 Ti, the you know the 3070 Ti, those for sure, and then of course whatever has been marked in the product number on any of the later releases from Nvidia. So net positive here it is looking good there is more research and obviously development coming out that is allowing you to mine ethereum with these light hash rate or hash rate locked cards from nvidia that being said with of course the implementation of eip 1559 via the london hard fork and the nerf on these particular gpus they are for the most part still looking more profitable on other coins including but not limited to conflux ergo and ravencoin all of those they're pretty much good to go so you need to keep that in mind that you probably want to still mine something different with them but that doesn't mean that we might not see of course the full unlocked potential through development soft or the development of the mining software here in the near future and if that happens you know where to check for the details my, my channel that's that's where you check yeah so hit the like comment subscribe and that notification bell to be notified when new videos go live and i will see you next tuesday if you enjoyed this video be sure to subscribe to see more also you can check out this playlist for more content talking about cryptocurrency